Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the differences in when you would want to use either a tap and die set versus a thread restoring kit. Now I know the majority of them you see out there are the tap and dies, and they're available everywhere, but there are some instances where that can get the job done, but may not get it done in a very accurate way. So you may want to consider investing in a thread restore kit. So let's talk about a couple of instances where it is a much better idea to go with a thread restoring kit versus the tap and die. All right, guys, let's start off with a little bit of a vocabulary lesson and talk about the individual pieces that make up each one of these kits because they're very similar. Your tap, well, as you can well imagine, it looks like a bolt, but it is a very specific design where it has threads and flutes that are cut into and in between each section of thread, of which there are three. Now this is designed so any of the debris and corrosion or whatever material you're trying to cut has a place to go as you are actually cutting in the new threads. Now conversely, a die straightens out the threads of a bolt and or a stud. It has those three cutting areas as well as areas for the debris to fall away as you're cutting or cleaning those threads. Now with the Restore, it is built basically the same way. However, your area for the cutaway or the debris are much smaller. And by making that smaller, you have a larger area where you're actually cleaning out the threads. With this design, you're much less likely to damage the threads. Same thing on the die piece as well. Much larger surface area for the threads, less cutting area for debris. You know, they look a little bit the same, but honestly, the way they operate is completely different. With a tap, what you're generally doing is cutting new threads. Now you can use this to clean out threads, but I compare it to a sledgehammer and chisel versus a scalpel, and that's really what you're talking about here. Because with a tap, it's actually gonna take out more material and do it more aggressively than a restore. Now, if you're drilling into new metal and you need a set of threads, this is what you want to use. Now, if you're trying to just clean them up and get an accurate torque reading, or just to clean out any type of corrosion or thread locker that may be in the threads, the thread restore is the way you want to go. Now, if you look at the tip of the tap itself, you'll notice that the bottom edge is kind of chamfered and the distance in between these threads well, that's not exactly accurate because that's acting like a drill bit going into the threads. Now, if you put this into an existing set of threads, guess what? It's gonna take off more material before it can even get to the cutting and the cleaning action that you're looking for further up on the shaft of the tap itself. Now, if you look at the thread chaser or restore, you'll see that yes, it has the same channels for the debris and the corrosion or whatever loose material that needs to be taken out of the thread grooves, gives it a place to go, but it does not have a drill bit looking tip. So all it's going to do is just clean out in between the threads and not try to cut new ones. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say that there's some thread locker or a little bit of corrosion, whatever down on the threads of this head. Now if you take the tap and try to run it down, it almost immediately has resistance on it because that's those, those tip threads that are trying to cut in. Now yes, if I had the T-handle on there, I could force it through, but look at the difference with the chaser because these threads are perfect. There's nothing that needs to be done to them and with almost no effort, it goes straight through. And that's what you're after with a thread restore kit. This tries to cut new threads. This just cleans them up. So big difference in between the final product that you're gonna get going one versus the other. Now, when do you wanna use a thread restore kit? 
Well, basically any time I'm doing an engine build, that's when I break this thing out and I clean up all the threads because when you open up an engine, you introduce, well, an environment where debris and or corrosion can gather inside of these threads. Now, most of the engines that I build, I use a lot of thread locker because I believe in it because I want it to get torqued down and then stay there. But the trick is with that thread locker, it's going to leave some residual inside the threads. When you go to reinstall that bolt, well, guess what? That's going to throw off your torque reading. So it is very important that you get all of that cleaned out. And a thread chaser is the best way I know to do that very effectively. It is going to do the minimal amount of damage to the threads while cleaning them up and correcting them. A small imperfection if it just had a small little ding on the outside of it. Whereas a tap, it's going to get the job done, but it's going to take out more material than necessary, especially compared to a thread chaser. All right, there you go, guys. That's the biggest differences I know and have experienced in between a tap and die set and a thread restore kit. Well, listen, if you need these or any other parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at Partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments about this video, Leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla. We will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.